experience. For nearly 30 years, Six Flags Magic Mountain has hosted Fright Fest, turning the 260-acre park into a massive haunt event featuring mazes, monsters, and live entertainment. We are thrilled to have members of Team Magic join us today to reveal what's in store for fans this Halloween. Please welcome to the stage creative director Mark Wing. Costume designer Michelle Lynn. Makeup artist Renee Branch. And publicist Alex French. Hello, hello guys! How's everybody doing? Woo! Woo! Ready for Fright Fest? Woo! I didn't hear you. Are you ready for Fright Fest? First of all, you guys, we want to say thank you so much for coming out and joining us here today. And thank you to the Midsummer Screen team for even putting together this Awaken the Spirits event. Without further ado, you guys, Halloween is back, and this is Fright Fest, in case you guys are wondering. back at a haunt, guys, a haunt convention. Yes. So thank you, thank you. And so, you know, Fright Fest this year, you guys, we are back with more dates than ever. We have 24 nights of Fright Fest. So there's plenty of times for you guys to come more than once, get all the scares, and have a great time. <laughs> and we have a little something else. We had someone else that wanted to say a few things to you guys as well before we get started. Scott Ramp, our makeup designer for Fright Fest, and the head of Scream Team. We have our amazing makeup team as well. I, I have the honor to work with him every single night. So, um, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I happen to have brought some friends with me. Oh. Come on out, guys. A few people that wanted to say hi. Yes. Obviously, if you guys see the little one crawling back here, that's uh, Innocence. Say hi to Innocence. All right, so get things rolling. Um, we want to just go through and remind you guys what Fright Fest is, the product that we have, and we'll take it over to Mark to get a little bit of inspiration behind our mazes. So yeah, obviously we have so many attractions and so many different things for our, it's such a variety and that's what makes Fright Fest so special. Uh, obviously you see Red's Revenge right there. Red's Revenge is actually an attraction we've had for a very long time. 
Um, I was very inspired um, by all of the fantasy things that were coming out back in 2014, roughly. We had like Once Upon a Time from Disney, and we had some amazing movie franchises that were coming out, and so I was like, it's time for a fantasy. Plus, we had the amazing hit of our Scare Zone Nightmares, a twisted fantasy, which was our first Chroma Depth 3D um, Scare Zone. So um, it was just an honor to work with the amazing team over at Little Spider Creations for this attraction. They helped so much, and they helped so much with our events, uh, not just us, but other Six Flags parks. And yeah, it's just, it's an amazing, it's one of our first um, really theatrically themed mazes that we have in our park besides our like, Willoughby's. And ever since then, we started doing, doing more and more. Hello there. Michelle, what goes into the costume design when you're creating a new maze or even bringing back a new maze? There's so much that goes into it. Uh, Mark and I are great friends and we usually bounce ideas off of each other. We get inspired by things that are nostalgic to us, like movies and things we grew up in the 80s. Uh, I'm an 80s child, sorry, <laughs> love it. <laughs> We're both. Yeah. Sometimes uh, it's the fabrics that call to us. Sometimes yeah. it's video games, it can be all sorts of things. Yeah, we really just like, we, we go to downtown LA, obviously if you've been to the garment district and the fabric district down there, that's such a big inspiration. We could be inspired by a character, we can be inspired by a simple color, to be honest with you, um, that can just trigger something. So every single thing that you see. Yeah. What about this next maze for Condemned? That one was uh, recently Condemned. added. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so that is our hoarder attraction. To be honest. <laughs> and it's amazing. Um, the detail that went into that attraction. And we have an amazing scenic team. Um, uh, one of our heads of our scenic, Melissa Franson, if you guys are aware of her, she does a lot of the scenic, um, works with me a lot um, to design everything that you see scenically in scare zones and in mazes. We also work with another great company with this one. And um, we are just so proud of this one because there's so many hides in here, it's not even funny. Super terrifying. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I'm not a big Fright Fest person. I mean, I love Fright Fest, but I get scared really easily, so they do great. What about Renee? Anything to add from the makeup side? Like, what draws your inspiration? Well, between Mr. Ramp and Mr. Wing, they come and they say, okay, this is what we're looking at. This is the direction that we would like to go. But they give us so much creative freedom that it's just super enjoyable to work with them throughout this entire season. So I do Innocence makeup. obviously um, and just a delight to work with that makeup is a big makeup it's an icon character for us and each year I try to improve upon it I try to make sure that she looks the best that she can look so that when all of you come you can take pictures video and she always just is picture perfect for you um, for anything else like the new looks that we have coming up Mark does give us little lookbooks and say like, this is where we want to go with it, this is what we want to do, but we trust you, so let's see where we can go. So this your own is creator. a starting point for one of our new makeups and we'll see where it goes from there. I love it. Yeah, I love it. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. Also returning you guys, we have Vault 666 Unlocked. And that one I know has always been a fan favorite. You can clap, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Vault 666 has gone through so many transformations since we created it originally. From an experimental site um, with um, different creatures and animals and stuff, very Dr. Island of Dr. Monroe, that was my inspiration for that one originally, to Hellfest, uh, the movie, to what it is now, which is a uh, play on like the Dark Goblin Market um, and a sinister character known as the Shadow Man. So it's been, yeah, that one's a has probably seen one of the, uh, the most changes, and it's just a unique one, especially with every year we try to do something different with the costumes and Michelle and the makeup. So I'm gonna let Michelle talk a little more on that one. Yeah, um, we just work well together uh, to create these new unique characters. I feel like we're really good about iconic, unique characters. We have a lot of fun uh, making them creepy and using a lot of things like sandpaper and cheese graters and serrated knives and things like that just to 
from your household cleaning, yeah. like brush supplies. We do all types of techniques to distress and to. Um, Scott has actually been a great mentor, uh, Mr. Ram, on utilizing the most random things to create <laughs> unique sculpts and paints and stuff like that. So. You guys, Innocence is coming this way and she's freaking me out. <laughs> Stay on the other side over there. Um, okay, so Aftermath 2 Chaos Rising is actually the largest outdoor maze. Uh, we are so excited to bring bringing this one back and I believe we have a few new touches inside that we're doing, moving some things around. Yeah, there's some minor tweaks to it. Every year we always try to tweak things up to change um, some elements to try to make it um, new and fresh. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you exactly what they are. We want to leave it as a surprise. So you have to come out to Pride Fest to see it. But this is our over 40,000 square foot attraction. Um, a lot of the set pieces that you see are actually, um, fun fact, are from the original Batman stunt show that we had at the park. Um, yeah, yeah, we miss it. We definitely do. Um, but yeah, this one was my very first maze I ever designed. Um, the original Aftermath in the Action Theater. And um, it was very... Yeah, it was actually one of our biggest challenge because getting large scenic from RVs to a plane crashing into a building, um, it was something definitely challenging yet fun, and our, that's how we really developed our scenic department is through that attraction. And we have um, so many talent in the maze to dress. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of military. We want to get that right, and also. Um, just those iconic characters, like we said before. Yeah. And something new, we're always challenging ourselves to push ourselves to be better. We can always do Correct. something new. Yeah. yeah, and thanks to the team over at Immortal Mask, they helped us out with that attraction and did some stuff for us. And we really, really appreciate it. And it's the best part of my job is being able to work with so many haunt companies. Um, just to, um, obviously, we want to help them out as much as they help us out. And they really make an impact with us. So. Thank you to our vendors. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Another favorite, Sewer of Souls, up at the top of the hill by Exile Hill. That's right. You can I love this maze. Oh, sewer. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, so Renee, speak to that. What goes into this one? This one's so unique with the black light and everything that, else in it. That's why I love this maze, because the UV makeup for this is so fun to do. Any of the UV stuff we have around the park is a challenge. We love to do it. We love to see how it translates out in the park. And for this particular maze, I just thought the first time I went through it myself that it was really, really unique because it was just mind blowing to me, especially the 3D technique of it and everything else. This is definitely my personal favorite. Yeah, yeah. definitely a good one. Yeah, it, this was one really fun and it was a surprise hit. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, in our first room we have a big pile of bat poop, I'm going to be honest. And the, just the reaction and everybody coming in and through the attraction, and it was rated at opening year as the top maze of our park, which the team, um, the leadership team that ran that attraction and our cast, they did such a fantastic job that opening year, so. <laughs> yes, sense, no touching. <laughs> And last but not least for the mazes, Willoughby's Resurrected. Yes, Maggie's home. I think this is where Innocence is trying to find her way. She's a little lost over there, it keeps coming this way. That is her home. <laughs> that is her home, yes, Willoughby's Resurrected. Actually, Willoughby's was one of the very first attractions ever at Fry Fest. Um, the, uh, the event obviously kicked off in 1993 and what's called Willoughby's was introduced in the 90s. Um, the original concept was they were very much like your Adams family, very awkward and weird family. But in uh, 2012, we decided to transform it and give it a new face look. And that was one of my biggest challenges, is making them scarier and darker and nastier and creating stories for each of the characters. So Little Innocence here was actually developed um, by multiple people. I created um, her basic backstory and a quick little sketch that I gave to some of our artists. and. Those of you who are very familiar with the amazing Mike Spatola, um, Emmy-nominated makeup artist. Yes, yes, yes. He was the original makeup artist for Innocence. And then um, it went and transitioned into multiple artists, including Rod Maxwell. And then we have our amazing, um, we had amazing artist Quentin. And then as of last year, Renee took over her 
So she is definitely an icon character, and thanks to so many people, including our costume team and um, Scott Ramp, who made the amazing sculpt on her. Like, yeah, we can't thank them enough. And it's a beautiful maze. Um, when you walk through it, take your time in some of the rooms because there are things that people never see in the maze. There are so many different effects that people yeah. just, you've got to look up, you've got to look behind things, you've got to look everywhere. There, It's just a beautifully eerie maze. Yeah, and it's um, a lot of the details that went into that attraction. Um, there's some that are actual, very old relics in there, actually, including the carriage, and there's a wicker casket. Um, that um, is actually a wicker casket <laughs> that we've got um, back east. So there's a lot of detail in that attraction. Is the casket used? Do mm, we know? I don't know what they do in there, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Just wondering. <laughs> but it's a classic, everybody loves it, and that's why we keep bringing it back. Yes. So along with our mazes, as you guys know, we also have scare zones set up throughout the entire park, and it's just something to add. Yeah, give some love to the scare zones. Yeah, we want to add that fright as you guys are going from maze to maze. And if you don't know, Fright Fest, we don't close the park. We keep the park open the entire night. So you can come during the day, 7 o'clock Fright Fest starts, and that's when the, the crazy little monsters like this one over here in the green start roaming around. Oh boy. Yes, you. <laughs> but we always want to up the fright, right? We want to make it bigger, better. We are the thrill capital of the world. We always go big. Exactly. I heard that. So new for 2021, we have some exciting news to share. The dead zone will be added. <laughs> so if you look to my left, this is a new character actually in the dead zone. So our theme is cyberpunk zombies. So yeah. Obviously we are so excited. This will be one of our largest scare zones we've ever done. It's gonna be in the underground, the new area where West Coast Racers is located. And it's going to be such a unique area, utilizing LED lighting, new uh, makeup, amazing costume by Michelle and our costume team. Um, every single character is unique, different, and just so much layers and details that go into them. So it's going to be a wow zone, definitely. Michelle, what went into the creative behind this amazing costume that you put together? So usually when I start thinking of a new area, I kind of fill my brain with as much as I can. I look to movies, I look to novels, I look to different themes, I look to video games. I kind of fill it up and then I think about all of those things, let it digest, and then I start drawing. Uh, this is one of my uh, designs that I literally hand painted every single little line on that plastic. Uh, there's a lot of uh, textures that I want. Sometimes I use the back of fabrics. I like to use things in different ways so that we have something totally different than anybody else has out there. So I think that's like my main goal. Everybody in this, especially this scare zone, is so different this year, but they also tie together. Like they are a band of the dead, so I'm really proud of this one. So Woo! uniqueness too, Renee. Um, if the costumes are unique, the makeup is going to be unique for every single person. Absolutely. When Mark brought this to us, and by us I mean there's a group of us that Mark goes to at the beginning, before everybody else is back. Really, I just love her. We bounce ideas off of each other. Her name is Lena Browning. She is fantastic. Yeah. She is, she's here with us today. She's in back, and she actually does um, Jinx the Fool. She does so many makeups throughout the park, and we go back and forth, so when he brought this to us and he said cyberpunk, things cyberpunk zombies, immediately we got on Google and we just started pulling stuff up and bouncing ideas off of each other and we're excited. excited. We're super excited for this. Like yeah. this scare zone is going to be nothing like anyone has ever seen before, but also I have to say this because I don't think this is touched on enough. We can have the best costumes, we can have the most awesome set design we can have the most wonderful makeup but if we don't have these actors that are up here yeah. so we can actually bring these characters to life then we don't have this 
and this is just phenomenal what they do. It's phenomenal. It takes this whole team. Her hand painting, him coming up with it, us brainstorming, and then bringing it to life. And of course, everybody that decorates the set. It's phenomenal. This is going to be phenomenal. This that was year. so well said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So as far as part of the um, layout and everything, Mark, can you speak yes. to any of that? I have one slide up with just the concept so, here yeah, that was the for the initial, artist. Yeah, initial concept to start. There's so many more that you guys are not going to be able to see because obviously I want to surprise you guys. But it's spanning that whole, actually go back if you don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> So that's one of the uh, initial character designs that I do, but Michelle was the first one to design the costume and that inspiration. That's, um, we, that's why we work so well together. Um, and like I said, we, we go to LA, we go to different things, and we, it's, everything inspires us. So like for this area, obviously a year or two ago, we had a, um, there was a huge influx of cyberpunk stuff, thanks to an, a, a video game, to be honest with you. And with the futuristic type elements, yet I, we wanted it to be really gritty and yet vibrant, and there's gonna be a lot of LED mix into it. Um, it's gonna be just such a unique um, area. It's gonna be one of my, that's gonna be my favorite. Sorry, clowns. <laughs> I, I love you guys, but this might be one of my new favorite areas. I would say think high tech, low life. Yes. What I would think. Exactly. Exactly. It's very industrial within the area with the um, scenic that we're doing, um, and it's there's a lot of custom and fun um, graffiti photo ops that we're going to be doing in the area, um, and yeah, it's it's just going to be think of almost a maze within a scary zone. I'm going to be honest with you, so we can't wait for you guys to check it out. You, I'm very oh, so. <laughs> very excited. You know, the footprint for the underground too is such an amazing footprint, so much space, it gives us so much creative room to really bring these scare zones to life as you guys are going through from area to area. So we are very excited for this one. I mean, uh, it's, Renee it's, pretty much sold it, I think. I think she did, yes. <laughs> so yeah, just think, um, yeah, cyberpunk, zombies on acid, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Also adding new, we have a new show that we're adding into the Golden Bear Plaza called Grave Games, and Mark can speak to that as well. Yeah, this one actually kicks off a little bit after we open, September 24th, that we have such a great um, cast and team for this show. But it's gonna be one of our most edgiest shows that we've ever done. It's actually literally gonna have, um, as you can see in the artwork, a crossbow act. We have fire jugglers. It's gonna be very, very unique, yet still creepy, but so much animation with the performance is gonna be fantastic. Gut-wrenching, right? Yes. I saw a few yes. little teasers and I was nervous. <laughs> We're also adding another show, replacing our beloved hypnotist is a dark mind mentalist show. Yes, that is actually gonna be in the Gearworks Theater. Um, it is a fantastic show um, directed um, by our amazing team at um, uh, excuse me, it's, uh, Imagination uh, Entertainment and they are such an amazing team with them and it's so fun to work with them and it's a dancer, very surf, dark surf show mixed with a mentalist and it's something we've never done before in park so I think it's going to be very entertaining for everyone. <laughs> well, panel, do you guys have anything else you want to touch in? Anything I missed that you want to bring to this amazing audience and just think before we get into any Q&A? My biggest thing is I just want to say to everyone at the park that's working hard right now and doing overnights right now to get this event operational, yeah. we can't thank them enough. So um, thank Absolutely. you for our amazing yeah. 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 There's so many people behind the scenes that you don't get to see. I just want to also, like, I, we can't do this without our whole team and our amazing cast, our amazing makeup artists. This is the most makeup artist I will have this year, actually, Scott and I will have. We have so many makeup stations, it's not even funny. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be fantastic, and we can't wait for everyone to come out and see it. And of course, all these fright fiends we have here that love fright festivals. Yes. We, we love you guys. Without you guys Thank either. you. 